Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, August 20th. It is a little after four in the afternoon. Uh, we'll show you the sky. For the most part, nice clear sunny sky here working. Um, so you see the sun is well over here now. And uh, so it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. Uh, we're actually very lucky. It was a very gorgeous day. You can see the sun rocking on the panels, which is great, okay? Uh, we just went and got Eddie and uh, got him home. And uh, so now everybody's back home. And so anyway, I wanted to do a video today on sizing your solar system. So kind of wanted to explain, um, I mean, I've gone over my solar system before, but I've kind of wanted to explain exactly what I'm bringing in, what the capacity of my batteries are, what they are, and explain how it all works, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go inside So how do you size your solar system to work for you, okay? So what we're gonna do here, actually I'm gonna kick this down so you can see this. Okay, so we wanna size our solar system. So what we have here, guys, I have, these are Trojan L16E batteries, okay? They are six volt batteries and they have 370 amp hours. That's what they're each one will hold. So basically what you're gonna do, the way that we've done it, you're gonna run these batteries, okay, in three strings, and then they're gonna be parallel together. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so three strings of batteries. So here's one string right here. You're basically gonna be taking, all right, you're gonna go from your positive to your negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. Then your one positive here gets run over into the first string of batteries and your one negative at the other end, okay, gets run into that same first string of batteries in here that get tied together. So basically what you have, I have one 24 volt battery here, I have one 24 volt battery here, and I have a third 24 volt battery here. Now, so your, your voltage is doubling okay so instead of a like six one is a six volt battery with four it's a 24 volt battery what doesn't change is your amp hours the amp hours one battery now is 370 amp hours the only thing that's doubling is your voltage so i have three 24 volt batteries with 370 amp hours to get all together okay so let me pull out my calculator here real quick and so I have 370 amp hours times 24 volts, and then we're going to go times 3. So basically what I have, um, it's 26,640, all right? So basically what that is equivalent to we're looking at um, kilowatt hours is what we want to look at okay so basically these batteries are able to hold it's 26.64 kilowatt hours that's what's available in my batteries altogether. now the thing is what I want to do with these batteries I don't want to draw these batteries down um, the lowest that I want to bring them down when I'm using them is down to uh, like 24.5 is 50 percent okay that's the lowest you want to go you don't want to go any lower than that because it's going to take longer and it's harder on the batteries to recharge from that now being in the summertime basically what we're looking at um, at the end of the day when I'm shutting my batteries off and it's so like for each tenth after that you're adding like uh, 10 percent so 24 5 is 50 percent 24 6 is 60 percent 24 7 is 70 percent 24 8 and, and so forth and, and you get it up there um, basically to put the batteries in absorption mode to be in full absorption mode the batteries are at 28.6 um, volts okay now it's a 24 volt system so how come it's so much higher that's just where it ends up being okay now right now so far today okay so anyway so that that's what that's what it's capable of it's it's 26 kilowatt hours are available in these batteries okay so I don't obviously want to use that many hours in a day um, I, I want to keep my usage down 
to where you know with my solar panels because what I have I have um, 2,500 and um, 20 watts of solar okay so basically so what, what what does that mean I max amount that I can bring in in one hour is 2,000 520 watts okay now like right now it's later in the day the sun is starting to go down I'm bringing in like between the two systems a little, almost five six hundred watts of power at this point now for the day what have we brought in for the day on the, I have two different strings and let me show you these here real quick okay out there for the solar panels all right now we got one system here there's six panels on that system there are four panels on that system because I'm trying to keep my volts in not going above where, like right now that's got 96 volts coming in this one has 62 volts coming in there's four panels on this one there is six panels on that one right now the batteries are at 27.2 they're in float charge right now okay uh, they're 99 percent full at the moment and so far on the day to combined we got 1.6 kilowatt hours on this one we have 2.5 kilowatt hours on this one. The reason this one's pulling in more is just the angle of the panels. And that's the only difference. Even though there's less panels, it pulls in more pan uh, power because they're more set up for the summer mode. These six panels are set up for more towards the winter mode, okay? So, so far on the day, we've brought in 4.1 kilowatt hours on the day. We'll bring in more before the end of the day. Yesterday, we ended up bringing in 4.4 kilowatt hours. All right, so... How does that work for our system? Okay, let me kick this back down here so you can see that. Depending on how much power we're bringing in, depends on how full the batteries are. This morning, um, when we shut off, when we shut down last night, uh, we shut down. I think it was a little after one in the morning. The uh, panels were uh, at a total of, um, or, I mean, the batteries were at uh, twenty-four nine, so they were pretty much in really really good shape at that point okay so then this morning it doesn't take a lot to get them back up into float mode or absorption mode um, once you hit 28.6 basically what's happening is the power is being dumped okay so what we what I try to do with my system um, I really don't want to use more I'm between four and five kilowatt hours a day is what I want to use in my system because I don't want to drain the system down too much because it's going to kill the life of the batteries if I do that. So by by babying the batteries, if you will, it's going to give them a longer shelf life. They're going to last between 8 and 10 years if you take care of the batteries. Okay, So that's what I try to do. I don't try to drag it down. I could take it a lot farther down, below 50%, but it's going to shorten the life of your batteries. And why do you want to do that? I mean, you know, right here what you're looking at is $3,000 worth of batteries. I don't want to have to pay that out every 5 or 6 years. If I have to pay it out every eight to ten years that's an acceptable thing okay because again it's an investment okay but that's that's how that works so you're basically the way you want to have your system is you want to be able to try to stay in absorption mode throughout the day as much as you possibly can while also using your power the power in your house is not coming from the solar panels the power that you're using in your house is coming from the batteries okay what it is is the the charge controllers are bringing the power in and that's coming and putting that power into your batteries okay then what happens is your inverter which is up here let me just kind of show you that hold on a second your inverter which is right here that's taking the DC power turning it into AC power and that is what the power that you're using in your house okay but that power here is coming directly from these batteries into your into your inverter okay and that goes into your house your power from the solar panels is coming into your charge controllers and feeding the batteries and filling up your batteries okay that's how that works now just while we've been sitting here talking a little bit I pulled in another point one kilowatt hour so now we're up to four point two kilowatt hours on the day how funny is that just just kind of showing you um, we'll probably end up pulling in 4.5 maybe 4.6 kilowatt hours altogether by the time the Sun goes down but anyway so that's how that system works that's how you kind of you you want to build your system 
And, and again, it all comes down to uses. What are you using? Now, I actually, right now, I have two refrigerators going. I have a refrigerator in the camper, and um, which is um, a smaller camp or refrigerator, and then I have a full-size refrigerator in the house that we utilize as well. So those are probably our biggest draws of power. Now, if I use the toaster, that's a draw on power. If we use... Um, like the griddle, um, I had showed a video where we had used a griddle and it tripped the breaker like that because it was taking too much juice. Okay, um, again, it's it's the same thing. There's certain things that are going to take more power to use. Now that was before we added onto our solar system. But so anyway, this is how you kind of figure out how to size you know your system. It all comes down to guys is want and need. How much do we need and how much do we want? Now, obviously, we will continue to add on to our solar system, and we're going to end up adding more panels, which is going to keep us into a good state of charge on our batteries at all times. Now, here's the other thing, because somebody asked me if I had um, a, a washer and dryer. I do have a washer and dryer. I do not have it hooked up yet. I wanted to add in more panels first. Now, what time of day will I be utilizing my washer and dryer once we get it going? The time of day that I would utilize the washer and dryer would not be at night. It would not be first thing in the morning. It would be in that peak sun hours of the day between 10 and 2. That would be the time that I would want to utilize the washer and dryer because I would have so much power coming in from the sun, from the panels, keeping these batteries in a constant state of charge. So whatever draw was being taken off for the washer and dryer, it's not going to hurt the batteries. So those are things you want to think about when you're setting up your system. Um, I will eventually be adding more batteries, I will be adding more solar panels, and uh, it, it basically, like I said, right now, with what we have, um, we added 1,020 watts this year of power, it's made a huge difference in our production, and it helps the battery life as well. And so that's kind of what you're looking at. And it, it all comes down to, um, you know, to that. You want to, like I said, you just, you're, you're trying to figure out what you're going to use, how much you're bringing in. If I bring in four kilowatt hours a day, that's more than enough for our needs. Our needs are met, okay? Now, would I rather be bringing in seven or eight kilowatt hours a day, and then I can basically do whatever I want whenever I want? Absolutely, because that way it's not damaging the batteries. It all comes down to making sure your batteries are in a good state of charge so you're not overtaxing your batteries. And uh, being in New York, wintertime is a tough time, so how do we deal with that? This inverter is also a charger, okay? So while I'm running the generator, because I have a backup generator, the generator can bring in power into the batteries to charge the batteries up as well. And so while I'm running the generator, and let's say, okay, um, I need to run the generator for four hours. And in, in, in that four-hour time period, I completely fill up my batteries once again. Now what I can do is I can turn off that generator, run on my batteries, so I'm utilizing the generator not only for power in the house, but also for charging the batteries, which means I can use the batteries more, even if even though we're bringing in less power in the wintertime. Okay, so I hope that helps. I hope that explains it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, this is how our system is set up. And that's why people like have asked me if I'm going to add more batteries soon. I'm not going to add more batteries right away. I wanted to add more solar first so that I can keep this in a constant state of an absorption mode. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? So that's what it's all about. That's how our system works. Um, I hope I explain this good enough so that you guys understand. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It really truly is. So I hope this helps. And like I said, depending on how much power you're going to use in your house, you're going to have more solar panels, you're going to have more batteries. Because like I said, then if I added another set of four batteries, now I've also added another 370 amp hours of power that I can use. Okay, But I need more power coming in to keep everything in that constant state of a full charge if that's what you're trying to do. Okay, So I hope that helps, I hope that explains it, and uh, you know that's how our system works. Um, again, at the way I end all my videos, I'm going to say Remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. It's very important. Um, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, guys, it's STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever goals you're trying to reach, whatever you want to do, 
you can reach them. You just have to work at it methodically. Okay, so that's how it is, and that's the way my system is. I hope that helps. I hope that explains it well enough for you guys to understand. And again, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me, and I'll try to explain it even more if I can. Um, you know, like, comment, share. If you like what we're doing, you know, hit the subscribe button. All right, thank you very much, guys. I hope everybody has a great day.